If you look ahead and to your left, you will see where we start our process. Dorm G is our dry storage area where we bring in all of our ingredients. Our grain bill is 88% corn and 12% malted barley. We bring the corn and barley here to Dorm F where we house our fermentation lab, fermentation wing, and mash-in room. As you look to your left, you will see where we mix the corn and barley with heated purified water to make our mash. Our mash is mixed in 55-gallon drums. The hot water extracts the starches from the corn and the enzymatic action of the malted barley helps convert those starches into fermentable sugars. We add the back set from prior still runs to our mash to create a traditional sour mash recipe and also creates a flavor profile that is consistent from one batch to the next. After a rest to allow for temperatures that are suitable for yeast, we pitch a distiller's yeast which feeds on those fermentable sugars. The byproduct of that process is the alcohol we distill. We keep our active fermentation vessels behind those doors behind you and to your left in a dark climate controlled room until fermentation stops. That can be anywhere from 6 to 12 days. This process cannot be rushed. At the conclusion of fermentation, we use a filtered pump to separate the liquid from the grain. The liquid is called wash or distiller's beer. Once off the grain, the wash is allowed to rest for at least 48 hours prior to distillation. The wash is taken across the hall into Dorm D, which is our distillation wing, and is just behind you and to your right. The wash goes into the stills at about 8% alcohol. The liquor run will generally start at about 80% alcohol. Once distilled, the product will never come into contact with anything other than stainless steel, copper, and glass until it reaches the consumer. In them, over a period of several hours, the wash heats from room temperature to about 210 degrees Fahrenheit. As the wash gradually increases in temperature, different compounds vaporize at different temperatures. As the boiling point of water is approached, the run ends, as all that is being extracted from the process at that point is a vapor which contains little or no alcohol. Once the vapors leave the stills, they pass through a double thump keg setup that essentially triple distills our product on a single pass through the distillation process. A thump keg, or thumper as they're sometimes called, is an old-fashioned way to increase both the proof and purity of the product without the need to redistill it time and time again. The vapors travel from the still column to the first thump keg where they condense and are revaporized. The vapors from the first thump keg then pass into the second thump keg where they are distilled for a third time before being cooled in the copper condenser where the vapor is turned back into a liquid. We separate our run into four segments. These segments are called cuts and making the distinction between them is the essence of craft distilling. The four stages of our run are four shots, heads, hearts, and tails. The fours are not drinkable and have no purpose for consumption. They are discarded. The heads contain some interesting and even pleasant and useful tastes and aromas, but they are too harsh to make the grade for product. They are retained to be redistilled in a later run to capture those positive characteristics while removing the bite and harshness they sometimes contain. The hearts are the product portion of the run and even at very high proof are much sweeter and softer than heads. It is in the hearts that each run takes its shape and presents the flavors and aromas that are simultaneously unique to that batch and consistent with a standard for excellent whiskey. The tails are lower proof and while drinkable they fail to offer the taste, smell, or texture we want in our product. The newly distilled whiskey is blended to the desired proof and sent to Dorm G to be bottled or across the prison yard to the barrel house where it will begin the aging process. After our whiskey is bottled, it is put on pallets and placed in Dorm B, which is ahead of you and to the right, where it is kept under lock and key until ready to ship.